Okay, this is Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. As you can see, this figure is very plain. It is clean, it is plain. It is done very simple, as he should be. And let's get on with the articulation. With the articulation, it's very good, very, very good, as I will demonstrate it for you. But there is an issue with the articulation. Well, I will not say it's an issue. As you can see, the body articulation on this one, it's a little bit limited, or should I say limited. As I bent this, as I bent this figure forward, it just only goes this much. Backward, this much. And then you start to see gap. And then the lower part, of the body, this articulation right here is almost non-existent. There is no ab crunch. It doesn't go backward. But it does have a swivel. So it is just the body articulation that is limited. The figure is very fun to play. It is very possible, even with the body articulation being limited. And now, the second issue that I got on this one is the faceplate. Okay, every time I make this Gojo figure look down, the faceplate comes off easily. There it is. It just came off. And I'm going to put it back on. And I will do it again. I will make this figure look down. Okay, now the faceplate is off again. It's very easy. With that being said, I don't think those two issues are a major, or should I say deal breaker. Definitely not. This Gojo is a very beautiful figure. Like I said, it is simple, it is clean. It is screen accurate. The team that is working on this Jujutsu Kaisen line are working very good. They are doing a great job, to be honest. Half the reason, half the reason, at least for me, the reason, half the reason why these figures are very expensive, or at least some of the figures are very expensive, is because they are screen accurate. You are paying for the accuracy of the visual that is translated into plastic. No matter what angle you look at this figure, it is Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. There is no way you're going to mistake and it's a very beautiful figure. The paint apps on this one, the paint on the body is just plain, it's simple. But it is very consistent. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, there are parts in this body that have made different type of plastic. It is made of different type of plastic. The collar, the shoulder, the arms, the chest, the lower part of the body, the pants. Every other part of this body is made with different type of plastic. And yet, the color is consistent. The shade of the color is is consistent. As you can see, the elbow 
it's still the same color. The knees is still the same color. There's not a difference. There is no difference on the color. Very consistent. Very beautiful. And I will also try to mention, I will mention this Gojo here without the blindfold. It is a very beautiful head sculpt. The pink abs is very clean. But something is off. Yes, something is off. This is Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen without the blindfold. But something seems off. I read, I read some of the website that this head is based on manga. I'm not really sure about that. Um, so tell me in the comment section. Tell me in the comment section if this was based on the manga. Because I just don't see it. This is what I see on the anime right here. And I didn't know what is the reason for... Hold on. I do not know any reason for making this particular head sculpt based on manga. I have not seen the manga or read the manga. But it is what it is. It is still look beautiful. It is still Gojo. And it comes with a bunch of accessories right here. But before we go that, let's make a height comparison on Yuji. Okay. It is scaled very well. They got it right. As you can see, it, they are scaled perfectly. They look very, very beautiful. And also, check this out. The pegs on this boat figure, the bolt pegs, are the same size. It's just the Yuji is sitting a bit higher compared to the Gojo figure. But it is the same size, including the hands. The wrist, I mean. They are the same size. With that being said, you can switch parts. Just like this one with Gojo. So there it is. You got Gojo in Yuji's body. And you can get Yuji Itadori in Gojo's body. Yeah, it looks weird, but it works. There it is. We'll try the Sukuna. Okay, I'm back. I just have to get the hair piece or the hair kit. This one looks beautiful. As you can see. Very beautiful. It suits the faceplate or the head. It suits Sukuna. And as far as for Gojo without the blindfold, he has a long neck. It looks like a high schooler. Well, no, yes. There it is. Sukuna looks good. Gojo. Not so much. Okay, there you have it, guys. Let's try to put this back on.
And also, I want to share to everybody, this gojo comes with an interesting hands, pair of hands. And I will show it to everybody. Very interesting choice of hands. But I understand why. First off, you got these hands right here. I think this is when Gojo is telling Megumi that him and Yuji are close together like this. They are very close together. They are like best of friends. They are very close together. This is the hand symbol or hand sign that Gojo and Yuji are very close together. And then, which proves that they are close together because of this holding hands. Right there, there's a holding hand right there. And I will demonstrate this to everybody. There they are. They are holding hands. These guys are holding hands. It's a nice accessory. Very nice accessory. They are holding hands. They are like best friends. I like that. And this is a bit crazy hand sign right here it says like this and this is the international symbol for you got small penis yuji i think uh, gojo is telling megumi that yuji has a small penis you have a small penis when they were together walking holding hands He tells Yuji he got a small penis. Very, very nice. Okay, brothers and sisters, you have a good day. Good night. That's all. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.